friends welcome all of you on my channel friends rail transport is an important mode of conveyance for people and goods in india indian railways is the primary operator of rail operations throughout the country indian railway is a state owned organization of the ministry of railways between 2019 and 2020 22.15 million passengers use the indian railways network daily in the same period 3.32 million metric tons of freight was also shipped daily on the ir network in march 2020 the national rail network comprised 126366 km of track over a route of 67368 km and 7325 stations india's national rail network is the fourth largest in the world after united states russia and china as of april 2023 58812 kilometers of all the routes have been electrified more than 1254 million employees are working in indian railways according to march 2020 statistics successive administrations of the government of india have worked on improving the railways projects include the electrification of the entire ir network by 2023 new trains that can operate on existing rail infrastructure at 200 km per hour and new high speed railways that can operate at speeds in excess of 300 km per hour on december 21 2022 Japanese envoy to India Hiroshi Suzuki said the Indo-Japan bullet train project will become a high speed rail revolution just like Maruti Suzuki once the project is completed the Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail project which is also called the Vande Bharat project is being made with the technical and financial assistance of the government of Japan with the construction of this high speed rail corridors india will join elite club of 15 nations having this sophisticated technology within our reach mumbai ahmedabad high speed rail will consist of 12 stations between mumbai and sabarmati all 12 stations are being designed on a local theme for example vadodara station will have wad means banyan tree theme while surat station will be based on diamonds the stations will be based on environment friendly techniques so as to maximize use of natural resources like solar energy and natural ventilation this will not only minimize cost but promote environment friendly techniques in operational stage